Hello bestie, it is Sunday. If you watched the last video recently, this is where I literally left you. Today I've got quite a lot to do. I have decided that today is going to be a day off. However, I've got obligations on the Sunday, so I need to edit the vlog, upload the vlog, and uh, watch the vlog with you at six o'clock. So those are things that I'm going to achieve today. It's 11 o'clock now. I need to be at my brother's for like one or two. So that gives me like, two hours so i need to do editing very very quickly so i need to do like an hour of editing super super quickly and then i need to quickly go around jake's mum's upload the video and then i'll be okay for six o'clock so i think the barbecue is like one or two so i'll have that and then come back and then i should be able to be live with you at six o'clock i think the internet can cope with that so i've got to get going i'm not currently wearing any trousers either so i'm not going to stand up in this video <laughs> The video is exporting. I've just pressed it. It's currently half past 12 and I'm supposed to be at my brother's at two. So I need to find a way to export, upload and do the thumbnail within sort of an hour, which could be possible. I just need to know how long. Okay, so it says it's going to take 59 minutes for this to decompress, which means I'm a bit scuppered, but I don't mind being late to my brother's barbecue it's not the end of the world for me just got back from the barbecue it was lovely my parents were there one of my brothers was there obviously uh, the brother <laughs> whose barbecue it was was there as well it was really really nice i dipped out early because i needed to get this done and then i went to jake's mum just uploaded the video and now it's half past five now i don't like running it this close to the line but um it just had to be done. I don't know what's up with me at the moment. <laughs> I just don't feel very motivated because things aren't easy. Do you know what I mean? It's difficult to get internet, so I'm having to bother Jake's mums and like, th that's really, really frustrating for me. And I, I need to figure out how I'm going to upload those designs so I can buy the project and some more budget books and stuff like that. I need to figure that out. I'll talk to you later on.
Evening besties. I don't know why I just can't escape this sort of buffoonery from companies. Basically what's happened this evening is I've purchased £55 worth of shipping labels off Etsy and it was the biggest amount of shipping labels I've ever purchased. For some reason it's duplicated and I've been charged £55 twice. So I've got in touch with uh, Etsy. They took, I've been literally speaking to them for over an hour now. Eventually they've come back to me after me sending them multiple screenshots to prove that it's happened. Like, I don't understand why I needed to do that. And then they've come back to me and then they've said, oh, you have to go into each individual listing, request a refund. It goes through to Royal Mail. This can take up to 15 to 30 days and there's no guarantee that you'll get a refund. And I said, look, I'm sorry, but that is just not acceptable. Your system has messed up and charged me twice. You should just give me the refund. Like, that's just the way it happens. How much money have I given you over the last year from four and a half thousand sales? How much money have I given you and you can't just give me back some a mistake that's happened on your end? It is beyond frustrating. And like, my dinner's ready. I want to go and eat that, but I need to stay here and see what they say. It is just so annoying. So that is probably the nail in the coffin now for me to deplatform myself from Etsy. I'm just going to start working on my own website soon. Good morning besties. It's not as early as it looks at the moment. It's actually like half past ten. My parents are coming round to the new place. They want to have a look around. We're going to show them round. Then we are going over to the old place for the final time. And what we're going to do is just a little bit of cleaning, just some bits and bobs like that get rid of all the last bits because like my duvet is still there I haven't needed it where it's been so warm and like my pink chair and a couple of bits and that we just need to move out we just need to mop up and just tidy up a little bit well I need to film my check-in because it's Tuesday and the video is out tomorrow so I need to film the check-in today I did get an update from Etsy so the thing that they asked me to do like manually asking for a refund for 25 orders they just did it themselves because i was like look this ain't good enough so yes it's 50 pounds and 50 pounds is a tremendous amount of money but um hopefully i should get it back to me within 30 days so i mean at least i'll get it back to me um it just means that this week's take-ins will be 50 quid less which is not ideal because it's a quiet week already. I don't know if I'm going to get around to doing orders, but I'm really, really going to try to. I might have to do them in the evening because they're all printed out ready to go um, and I want to get them done, but I might have to do that in the evening and post them tomorrow. But let's just see what happens. 
We are just cleaning up the old house and I got this through the post. This is so kind. 24 packs of Red Bull. I wonder how long that's gonna last me. So this is a gift from Iris Budgets. Thank you so much. It says, as you have no spending money, please accept the gift from me from Iris Budgets. That is so kind. And if there's anything I've missed over the last couple of weeks is a Red Bull. So thank you so much. That is so beyond kind. So we just finished cleaning this place. It was just like a surface clean because we paid for a cleaner to come round out of the deposit to sort the place out. But I thought, for my memories, for Jake's memories, but for you as well, let's do an empty house tour. So this room here was my room. That was the window I'd always look at uh, when I was doing videos. You'll recognize my wardrobe and the green wall which is nice. This is quite a big room. In here is the ensuite, which is quite nice. Little shower. And then through here, creaky floorboards when it's empty, is the boiler. Nice in there. And then going around through here, we have Jake's room, which was nice and small. It's quite cute. So it wasn't a massive room at all, but it wasn't too bad. And his wardrobe's just behind the door there. And then we had a shared bathroom in here that has the bath in it. Hi! <laughs> and then we go downstairs. And here's where the office was. So the office was literally the conservatory. So that's where all my products were. The desks were along that table. And that's the garden. Very nice and green here. And then, this was the living room. So I did a lot of filming, especially against that pink wall there. That's Simon's little observatory down on the floor there. We used to put like a little bit of um, a blanket down there and he loved it. We had sofas here and the telly was there. And then under here is a little understairs cabinet that we had. It had plumbing in there. It, had, it didn't have plumbing, it had electrics in there, but we didn't put anything in there because it was quite short. That's Jake. In here is the downstairs loo. So there was like three loos in here. And then through here was the kitchen. So yeah, the best thing about this kitchen was this drawer here. Look at that, that's brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, that's the house empty. Goodbye house.
Wednesday. Started off the day with a big cry. <laughs> I was just scrolling through TikTok and I think there's this account where they read out children's books. And this guy, he was reading out this book called My Shadows Purple. And um, this is like set in a world where boys have a blue shadow and girls have a pink shadow. So this little child, their mum has a pink shadow and the dad has a blue shadow, but this child has a purple shadow. And this um, little kid likes playing with glitter and dresses and dancing and playing football and playing with trains and cars. They like everything. And they're told by grown-ups that they should be liking blue stuff because they're strong and stuff like that, but they feel like everything fits them. And um, in the end, they go to a high school, like a dance, and all the ones with the blue shadow are on the left and all the ones with the pink shadow are on the right. And this little kid is told to choose. And um, all the ones with blue shadows like, come on over. And all the ones with green shadows like, come on over to this side. And this little kid with purple shadow can't decide. So decides to just leave and exclude themselves from the situation. When another little kid um, rocks up and says, don't go, I've got a yellow shadow. And then like loads of people like, like one of them's got a red shadow and like it just, and the teacher's like, oh, everybody's different. And it's just really lovely. And I, I wish I had something like that when I was little. It's just so magical to think when you're young that you can be and do whatever you want. I always thought that I would have to fit in a certain binary and live a certain life extremely unhappy. And it took me until well into my 20s that I could sort of live the life that I wanted to. But um, yeah. That's what upset me this morning. But anyway, today, last night I printed off all of today's orders, but I think I overdid it a little bit and I think I chose too many orders because it is so much. Um, I did finish the orders yesterday that I was supposed to, but it was so late in the evening that I couldn't get to the post office. But today what I'm gonna do is I've decided with Jake, cause Jake's gonna hang out with me today. Uh, today I'm going to go over to Jake's mum's and use her internet to upload the video because I edited all of that last night. I need to go to the bank and draw out all of my money to film the cash stuffing. Then we're going to have lunch with Jake's little brother. And then when we come back, I'm going to film my cash stuffing and I'm going to do the orders. And the order's going to take a long time, so Jake says he's going to help me. So that is the plan for today. Let's see how I get on. So I'm shutting up shop for the day. I have all of the orders that I wanted to get done today, but I didn't actually because I had so much on. They're all laminated, ready to cut out for tomorrow. I've got all of the category strips and I've cut out all the vinyl. So it's all done. So now I'm gonna go swing over here and I'm gonna close down the computer and call it a night. Well, when I say call it a night, what I'm actually gonna do is edit a video ready for Friday which is the cash stuffing, because that's all filmed now. But yeah, it's gonna be a nice chill evening and then, and then I'll have a nice day tomorrow.
<laughs> okay so this is the issue i didn't film very much yesterday because it was actually jake's birthday we went to the pub we did loads of really really fun stuff so because of that i didn't do very many orders so i kind of overcommitted myself today and i've been making orders since nine o'clock this morning and haven't even finished them it's four o'clock now and we're having a barbecue around ours like a bit of a housewarming um and also jake's birthday as well so people have started to arrive and i haven't even showered in an ideal world i'd finish off those orders because all i've got to do is hole punch them put a bit of vinyl on and then take them down the post office but my priorities are that it's my friends and family coming around so i'm gonna do that this week i've not really felt like vlogging very much and i don't know why i've not really felt like sharing very much at all i've been a bit sensitive as well so like somebody sent me something on instagram that they intended to be a joke and i took so much offense to it i mean i didn't respond being horrible or anything i was just like actually that really hurts my feelings what you just said and they were like it's a joke and i was like oh am i being a bit too sensitive so that's why the vlog is a bit different this week but i'm about to go and have a shower and have some much needed time with my family and friends the orders i will finish up tomorrow morning because the weekend is not a take order of the post office day even though i will tomorrow because i need to take those but it is a design day and it also has to be a catch up on the vlog because i have not edited anything again for this vlog as well i don't i'm still trying to find my groove the new issue is that i can't actually open photoshop at the moment and i still can't because it's trying to update the creative cloud which is something that you need for photoshop but because my internet's so slow it is just taking forever so i haven't been able to basically open photoshop all day today which could become a problem if i still can't open it tomorrow i think what i'm gonna have to do is actually pick up my whole mac and take it around to jake's mum's just so i can use the fast internet so i can update that but i also need to get a couple things printed so the new project is ready i need to print that new stickers i need and I, there's just a lot of stuff that i've got ready i've got the money for it i've designed it i just need to upload it that's all i need to do so yeah, I'm literally about to go jump in the shower, make myself presentable and just have a really, really fun evening. So I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, besties. Uh, right, so I didn't vlog much yesterday. As soon as everybody came round, it was just a lovely, lovely evening. We had a barbecue and it was kind of like a housewarming at the same time. So we had like Jake's family come round, um, my brother and his wife and my niece came round, our best friends came round. It was just like, such a lovely evening we drank a lot like a lot um to the point where i don't feel amazing this morning i do need to finish up those orders before one o'clock today um because i need to take them down to the post office because i did the postage yesterday it's about 10 o'clock now so I, I do need to get a wriggle on with these orders but um after i've done that i think i'm going to do a bit of design work because what i want to do today is design a bit for that future project then i want to take my whole mac over to jake's mum's so that i can upload a load of designs pay for a load of designs to get printed um and yeah that's what i want to do the other thing that i have to do today is spend literally the whole day editing because um 
I haven't edited this vlog at all yesterday. So by the time you're watching this on Sunday, it was edited, to, the whole thing was edited 24 hours ago, less than 24 hours ago. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna jump back on these orders, get them done. Oh, I am feeling ropey, ropey. I made a big, um, <sighs> I made a big, um, well more than a picture of Long Island iced tea um, and it was a bit strong actually so we were drinking those most of the night and um, yeah anyway I do need to crack on so yeah <laughs>
So the good and the bad thing about having a barbecue is you buy enough for everybody, but then people bring stuff as well. So we've got burgers back there. We've got sausages left over. There's like more burgers back here. So Jake and I are going to be living off burgers for the next week, I think, because there's not much else left in the house. Hi besties, I'm feeling a lot better now. I've done my parcels, been down to the post office. Oh, they were so annoying there. Oh, the, the guy that works there, he just doesn't like me. Like his position was closed. He saw me, opened it, and then wanted to tell me that he wanted to personally check each and every one of my parcels to see if they weighed correctly. Like, what's that about? And there was one that he rejected because it. he was like, oh, it's, it's, um, it's too wide, but I'm like, you literally just got it through the slot. What are you talking about? Is that always a bit tight? I just, <laughs> I feel like there's like this option on Etsy where I can just put in the weight of how much something is and it will sort of auto populate. So I'm hoping I could do something like that. Meanwhile, my brother's called me and he can't cut stickers anymore and he wants to make a sticker for something. So because he doesn't have anything, because he's literally given me all of his vinyl, I'm going to make him a sticker. So I'm going to do that. Instead of going around Jake's mum's tonight, is I want to get all of my designs finished and finalised. Um, so that when I'm around her house, what I can do is I can just upload everything. So there's a pack of stickers I want to do. I want to do my September booklet as well and get that done. I just want, There's a couple of things that I want to just get done today so that they're done and dusted and I don't need to worry about it so that when I can go into Jake's mum's tomorrow, I can send all of this to go off the print and pay for all of that. But right now I'm going to make my brother's sticker and then I'm going to work on some bits and bobs for the future. because uh, Photoshop still hasn't done the Creative Cloud thing. The internet is just too weak uh, to do anything here. It kind of makes me want to cry, <laughs> but I know it'll be okay soon. The other thing that I need to tell you about, Rose has died, like she's died. So I also need to swap her out. So I need... <sighs> what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just going to not waste my evening. I'm going to print off the orders that I would want to do Monday morning. I'll do that. Oh no, I can't because I don't have Photoshop. I'm going to chill out. I'm going to have an evening off and have an early night and wake up early tomorrow and crack on. I'm going to turn off the Mac. I can't do anything. I literally can't do anything. I don't have Photoshop. Yeah, I can't do nothing. So. <laughs> if anything else interesting happens between now and the end of the vlog, I will certainly let you know about it. But I doubt anything's going to happen because I can't do... Maybe I'll just have a look, see what orders I can do. So there are some orders and I started to do some work, but uh, then Jake's mum invited us around for a Chinese takeaway, so I couldn't say no.
Okay, so back home, finished all of those orders. They're all done, dusted, cut, and they are ready for Monday morning. I've also done every order's vinyl as well, because I was capable of doing that. So that's all done now. I can't actually do anything else now, so I am actually gonna finish for the day. And it's not early. <laughs> Thank you so much for getting through to the end of the video. You know I love it when you get through to the end of the video. Please give this video some love. Make sure you like, comment, share and subscribe. And if you are going to comment, please use this emoji. I hope you enjoyed this week's vlog. It is probably the shortest vlog that I've done. And they do say that length doesn't matter. But, you know, a lot of the week I didn't really feel like sharing. I was in a not a great mood. But that mood has shifted. Um, I just... I think the, the issue is that things aren't as easy as they used to be. Like internet is really bad. The post office are really annoying. Like even today, they were just so rude to me, but it's all gonna be okay soon. I'm gonna figure out ways to get around it. I will have internet soon. It will be absolutely fine. So yeah, next week is gonna be okay. I just wanna make sure that I make the most of tomorrow. So the plan for tomorrow is to bring like every piece of equipment I've got that I need the internet for, take it over to Jake's mum and I'm just, that's gonna be like my hub. I'm gonna update Photoshop. I'm gonna do loads of designs and yeah, just get everything sent off and get it sent off printed because I've got quite a lot to do. I'm going to spend a lot of money tomorrow. This week has been a really, really bad week for sales. And I don't know if it's been a normal week, but I've had a good... I think this happens to me quite regularly, actually. I have a good week and then... Now I have a brilliant week and then the week after is an okay week, but I have to pay for the postage from the week before. So I'm not even going to make £100 this week. Like, it's like not very much money but it'll all work itself out so we are at the end of the video and i don't really have anything else to say but thank you so much for being with me this week we do have a new patron since the last video i'd like to say a massive welcome to elenka scock thank you so much i have had a couple of comments about my name isn't up on the list or i left you and my name's still up there and stuff like that i haven't updated the list in such a long time but i will update it as soon as i've got a reliable internet connection because then it just becomes a lot easier i edit on a different laptop and it's just the effort of going to patreon to copy and paste lots of different things is just a bit beyond me at the moment. I, I don't really have the patience for that. So apologies, it's not quite right yet, but I will sort it. But thank you so much for bearing with me. And this overhead lighting is doing me absolutely no favor. So I am gonna leave it there. Thank you so much. I would like you to have a wonderful day, have a wonderful week, have a wonderful budget. Always remember, don't trust Ira. And I will see you again very, very shortly. Thanks so much for watching today, bestie. Thanks so much, bye-bye.